You're going to have to step back. Who are you? Sergeant Hesher. Is it a restricted area? Yeah. How is it restricted? Dude, this ain't that China type of thing. You need to go back. Can I get your name? Don't even worry about it. Stop yeah. filming. Yeah, he's on his thing. This is this is this is not public property. This is county. Once you pass that front gate. Oh, right this there. is not public property. Okay. No, so you might. This is just private property. Back out the door. If you can't control your own emotions, that's on you. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Cook County Department of Corrections in Chicago. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. So we have a Cook County Jail visitors notice as soon as we enter the facility. You're gonna have to step back. Excuse me, sir? You're gonna have to step back. Who are you? Sergeant Hesher. Why do I, I need to I, step I back, Sergeant? Because we don't want anyone past this area here. So is it a restricted to... area? Yeah. How is it restricted? I'm, I'm asking you, can you please step back? I'm going to continue to take some okay. pictures okay. of the facility. Okay, take your pictures and leave. Thanks, appreciate it. Hey, sir, how are you? Can I get your name, please? Dude, this ain't that China type of thing. You need to go back. Can I get your name? Don't even worry about it. So I can't get your name? Who, me? No, I was talking to the other officer here. You, you know you cannot have my name. No, I cannot have your name. Okay, that's great. See what happens is they come out and they try and bully you. And of course we have the thin blue line gang flag. I would expect nothing less. You can't go that far. Can I help you? You, you can't go that far. Who are you, ma'am? I work here. In what capacity do you work here? I work at customer service. Customer service? You, yeah, you can't go that far. Stay at that there. Why would that be? That's the rules, huh? Interesting. Do you have official business right now? Yes, I do, sir. What are you doing? You looking for somebody? Yeah, who's your, what's your name again? You didn't this give it to me. This is not YouTube. I'm not arresting you. This is not a traffic stop. Stop filming. Yeah, he's on his thing. This is this is this is not public property. This is county. Once you pass that front gate. Oh, right this there. is not public property. Okay. No, so you might. This is just private property. Back out the door. Is this you private just want property? To ask you a question. No, it's not. Once you pass that gate, you're on the compound. Is it, so it's private property. No, it's not. Compound. Compound property. County property. County property, county property which county is funded property. by flag right there? taxpayers. Right? Flag. Yeah, I see the flag. I saw the thin, I saw the thin blue line flag over there too. Isn't this a publicly accessible area here? At least they have the American flag hanging here. Why is that? Where, where is the law? Is there a law that says I can't film in here, ma'am? Ma'am, would you mind getting me a visitor schedule? Uh, you have to go on land. the schedule there's no schedule paperwork that you have here? No. Interesting. I understand that. I'm trying to get clarification. I I have it uh well it's Lieutenant Wallace and, and we're gonna get some uh, uh answers from the uh ADO so that's in place and then we're gonna make that decision. But my my stance is you know, I'm not the case. He's just a photo of the First Amendment auditors where he's just here for all of us. So he's just a lot of this. That's my opinion. It's Hashim H.D. So he's speaking to this woman's supervisor. He said, I'm a First Amendment auditor looking to provoke them so that way I can get a lawsuit. <laughs> Not. He's a First Amendment auditor, journalist. Yeah, I was asking her for a visitor schedule. Yeah, you're going to have to go online for all that information. Well, if I didn't have any access to the internet? CookCountySheriff.org. Yeah, right. You have all the access you want right there on your phone. Okay? Right. But, but some if, people don't if, have if access to the internet. nothing else we can help you with, you're, are you here to pay a bond? No, not at this time, no. Not at this time? No. Okay. Outside of videotaping, is there anything else we can help you with? Like I said, a visitor schedule would be great. Just because. I, I, don't, 
I already addressed that. Right, but not everybody has the proper. Do you, is there a person that you want to visit? Are you not here at to visit time. a person? Not at this time, Sergeant. Then I wouldn't have any information to give you because it, there's visiting days every day, but depending on the section that they're assigned, they would have a different visiting schedule. Right, there's no like, so you'd visiting have to find schedule. The person? No. That says like cell like block. No, sir. This person is available on this no, day. It's done by person. Done by person. Yeah. Okay. So if there's nothing else we can help you with, I'd like you to leave because I don't think you have any business here. I think you were here to videotape. I think you got enough footage. I think I was more than generous. Normally we don't allow access past this point where you, you were up nearly touching the gate. And I allowed that because I understand what you do and I know exactly what you want. Right. You said on the phone that I'm trying to provoke you. I, I, Whatever I said on the phone is, is what it would Provoke you in yeah, order to me. get a lawsuit somehow? Probably. Yeah, yeah. You, you've seen the YouTube videos and things oh, like I'm that. Oh, I'm sure. I've, I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos. I've so seen, I think that's yeah. why you're here. Well, that's yeah. not why I'm here. Because you, then what other business are you here for? My business is technically none of your business, sir. I'm here conducting a First Amendment protected activity. I don't want you to violate my rights in any way. I'm, I'm not trying to provoke you in any way. Okay. If I was trying to provoke you, I would be using different language okay. and... You know, there would be Is other there there's, there'll be I other tactics I can employ if I wanted to provoke you, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Well, I don't By asking you, you your me. name, I'm, I mean, if you can't control your own emotions, that's on you. I, I'm just saying that's... Every you, man and woman has you, to be in control you, of their you, own emotions, sir. I was on the phone and, and uh, you know, you listen in, which... I really right. don't mind. Anything yeah. I said is, is basically how right. I feel. And that's how you feel. That's here. fine. That's great. That's how you feel. You're entitled to your opinion. And Outside of that, if you have nothing else, I'd ask you to leave. Like I said, I'm engaged in the constitutionally protected activity. Okay. I'm here working on a story on the Cook County Correctional right. Facility here, so my business is not concluded now, at this time. Is there anything else? I don't need anything else from you. There's Division 10 down the street? I don't know what that Division is. Division 11 is, is across the street. I don't know what that is. All right. Like I said, my intention is not to provoke you in any way. Go ahead. Despite your okay. beliefs. It's always the intent is to provoke. It's never, he's just exercising his constitutional right peacefully. He also said on the phone that, you know, I wasn't doing anything unlawful, which we know we aren't. But again, it's just ridiculous that they always want to use that rhetoric of he's provoking us. And if you can't control your emotions for a camera being in a public place, you shouldn't have this job. If I, this officer here sitting down, he had a problem with me asking for his name. If you have a problem with that, you shouldn't have this job. We have another sheriff's deputy here. You gotta be able to handle members of the public exercising their rights. It's a story on, I'll give you the general thing. It's a story on corrupt, corrupt, corruption allegations, excuse me. Okay. Corruption allegations on the Cook County Department of Corrections and abuse allegations here. Yeah, I've received a lot of tips. So I was just investigating, that's all. Great. Good luck to you. Bro. Thank you, appreciate it. So there's nothing, there's no, nothing unlawful going on here. Just want to clarify. Uh, uh, as far as what you're doing. My, yeah, my activity here today. No, no, sir. Okay, great. Thank you, appreciate it. If I can help you with anything else, let me know. Thanks, Sergeant. I appreciate it. Yeah, my might call and set that up. I would I wouldn't just show up if I wanted actual tour in restricted areas. I would call ahead of time for sure, but I appreciate you offering well, yeah, this that. Is as far as it gets. Right, the public visit I figured as much. The the public area where the visitors come and you know, this is a public lobby. I understand. Yes, I, I just again I just want to clarify that my intention is never to provoke any law enforcement or any government official. That might be others' intentions. I don't know. I can only speak for myself. Okay. It and just felt that way on the initial contact. That's, that's just the vibe I hear. Right. Yeah, no, it's just when, we initially, when you initially contacted me, like, hey, step back, right? Yeah, and because normally we don't... Normally you could just say, hey, how are you, that. sir? Yeah. My name is Sar Sergeant... Yeah, normally because you already went past. So actually, I, was, I thought I was pretty... Pretty mild. Right. I just believe in de-escalation and you know treating people, too. treating I, people I with respect, and I think it, it works wonders, especially in in your field of yes, law sir. enforcement, I sir. Agree. All right, so we're gonna hang out for a few more minutes. Looks like the sergeant, the customer service clerk here, we're all educated on our rights. So we'll hang out for a few more minutes, and then we'll be getting out of here. I look familiar. 
I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Yeah, I have all types of social media platforms where I report. I do some work with local law enforcement across the country, training on de-escalation, First Amendment rights, interviews, things of that nature. Got the form, sir? Thank you. Pre appreciate it, Sergeant. You have a great day, okay? Stay safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been here for quite a while now. Let's get out of here. All right, fellow patriots, we're just getting out of the Cook County Correctional Facility here. Started off pretty rough. The sergeant telling us to back up because we were too close to the fence over here, but he at least he identified himself, unlike the other deputy who wouldn't identify himself, which is unfortunate to say the least. The lack of professionalism is concerning, and it only shows that if they can treat a member of the public like this, how are they treating the inmates inside? It's just very concerning. The woman said she worked in customer service, tried to give us directives, which we definitely didn't listen to. We don't listen to unlawful directives that violate our constitutional rights. This video goes to show that law enforcement and our government officials will try and get away with whatever they can through their unlawful directives. And we the people have to be assertive in our rights and not just, oh, we told me to back up. I have to back up. She told me to get out, stop recording. That means I have to get out and stop recording. You have to be confident in your rights or else you'll lose them. Confidence, exercise your constitutional rights peacefully. Know when to hold and know when you gotta take it to a federal court for a lawsuit. That's not what we're looking for. We're not looking to provoke anyone as the deputy said, but we are looking for accountability and transparency in our government. And sometimes lawsuits like the one I have against the NYPD the only way to really achieve that goal. But let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.